Leadership and Governance is a network that provides the vision and direction to the education system, making it relevant and responsive to the context of diverse communities. It provides a development plan developed collaboratively by the stakeholders of the school and the community. Socorro Central Elementary School and SPED Center is a learning institution which is governed with the fundamental principle of inclusive education. It truly ensures that no child should be left behind, that all children should learn together wherever possible, regardless of any difficulties or differences they may have. The school popularizes and imbibes its famous hashtag, Hashtag SOSIS, the home where Tinabangay is life. SOSIS garnered series of successes in the implementation of various educational programs. Numerous notable achievements being recognized as SPED Center in 2011, declared as APIS Accredited Level 1 in 2012, number 1, and SBM Level 3 Accredited School in 2018 for the whole Cargo region, and a Hall of Famer in the implementation of Brigada Escuela National Level Mega Category of the same year. All these successes were because of the best practices manifested in SOSIS. Among the best practices manifested in Principle 1, leadership and governance are stakeholders' dynamism and practice of volunteerism manifesting the true spirit of the Nabangay embedded in this island, municipality of Socorro. Build strong stakeholders' relation, develop collaborative partnership, elicit input and viewpoints to demonstrate strong and competent leadership. Establish functional stakeholders' organizations. Ensures that stakeholders are well informed of their duties and responsibilities necessary to smooth flow of involved leadership dialogue, discussion, and decision making. Stakeholders actively participated in school activities to ensure strategic planning purposes. As evident in this pandemic, the school planning team, school governing council, and other group of organizations, including that in the classroom level, employ alternative mode of convening for a cause through group chats, call and text, Google Zoom, and Google Meet. SUSIS is the biggest elementary school in the entire division in terms of teacher and pupil population. One of the best and effective practices manifested in SUSIS Fed Center is a creation of GLAMEA, Grade Level Monitoring, Evaluation, and Assessment, a multi-level managerial scheme to fast-track and cater different concerns of the school in curricular and extracurricular activities and all matters concerning the learners. Glamea are managed by the grade level managers who are all master teachers. These group of leaders in every grade level regularly convene their members to conduct and update concerns, assess and monitor unified workable solutions geared to achieve the school goals and objectives. The grade level managers for grade level will monitor and assess their teachers and pupils using the Glamea tool that contains all the data requirements relative to the school implementation of mandated processes. Results in the monitoring and evaluations in Glamea will be presented during this MEA, or School Monitoring Evaluation and Assessment, conducted every quarter of calendar year from 2017 to present. What is best and unique in SOSAS is that, every time SMEA is conducted, it was attended by our very supportive stakeholders, the district supervisor, school planning team, teachers, guidance counselor, school governing council, GPT officers, barangay officials, government officials, and other groups of organization ready to help and resolve the issues, concerns, gaps, and problems of the school. They made possible solutions, recommendations to the issues, concerns, gaps, or problems reflected in the presentation of the school for the efficient and effective performance of the organization to achieve the desired output and sustainability of educational success. May naku, kabuo, nga scholarship nga para sa mga bata din sa atin. Sa scholarship program, aron sila maka para dun sa ilang pagtongha din sa SUSIT. Obligado or committed na mutabang na dun sa ato iskwilahan. 
Sosa's teaching and non-teaching staff and their stakeholders have created a group of ambassadors, all of whom are dedicated to solving the current school problem. Barangay officials and the municipal priest work hand in hand to act as a word of mouth. Di awa po kamo karon o dini nga panahon nga adunay pagahimuon nga early enrollment sa mga kabataan sa atong tulungan. Adunay pagahimuon nga early enrollment sa mga kabataan sa atong tulungan. Alang sa pagpandam sa pag-apply. Despite of COVID-19, SOSIS and its stakeholders continue to deliver and showcase the real spirit of Bayanian in the education sector. Showed interest, attended and complied the programs and activities added and conducted by the school. These are the documents that support Principle 1 Best Practices of SOSIS Bed Center. legacy to this school is something that the heart can feel in the memories and something intellectual, something intangible that you have to leave, you have to have that imprint in their hearts and minds. What makes SOSAS unique over the school throughout the Philippines? School-based management here in SOSAS is life itself because of our Bayanihan spirit. It is an indelible mark from our forebears engraved in every heart of Sohorongo. Voluntarism, the heart of SBM, truly runs in every Sohorongo V. Long live Bayanian. Go hashtag. Hashtag SOSAS for SBM Sustainability.